Good evening. A very warm welcome to everyone joining us online. Today we celebrate the feast of the baptism of our Lord, dear B. After John had baptized Jesus, the Holy Spirit came down on Jesus and strengthened him. Jesus is revealed as the Son of God. Through baptism, we are also made sons and daughters of God. Almighty, ever-living God, 
who, when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and he who has no money, come buy and eat, come buy wine and milk, without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen diligently to and eat what is good, and delight yourself in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me, hear that my soul may live, and I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, merciful love for David. Behold, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and a commander for the peoples. Behold, you shall call nations that you know not, and nations that knew you not shall run to you. Because of the Lord your God, and of the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, that he may have mercy on him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I intend, and prosper in the thing for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the song, with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and I will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the well of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Sing praise to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout and sing for joy, O inhabitant of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. A reading from the letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born in God. Anyone who loves the parent loves the one begotten by him. But this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory 
that overcomes the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is he who comes by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the witness, because the Spirit is the truth. There are three witnesses, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and these three agree. If we receive the testimony of men, the testimony of God is greater. For this is the testimony of God, that he has borne witness to his Son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, John preached, saying, After me comes he who is mightier than I, the thong of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately saw the heavens open and the Spirit descending upon him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A family arrived at their parish church on the day scheduled for the deacon to baptize their baby daughter. The infant's five-year-old sister watched the arrival of family and friends with great interest and eagerly took her place between her parents at the font. When the service was over, she asked her father why water had been poured over the baby's head. When he tried to explain the meaning of the cleansing waters of baptism, the little girl protested, but daddy, that's not the part of her that's dirty. <laughs> Out of the mouths of little ones, the truth. In the Gospels, baptism refers to three things. First, John's baptism with water as a sign that the people repented of their sins and wanted to wash them away. Usually, it was only converts to the Jewish faith who were baptized. But now even Jews were called to accept that they were sinners. John's baptism was only the first step of a journey, a sign, a start, as he himself said. I baptize you with water to show that you have repented. But the one who will come after me will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Secondly, Jesus' baptism with the Holy Spirit, which is a baptism of rebirth, which gives a whole new life to those who receive it. As St. Paul wrote to newly baptized Christians, when you were baptized, you were buried with Christ, and in baptism, you were also raised with Christ. You were at one time spiritually dead, but God has now brought you to life with Christ. And lastly, John's baptism of Jesus himself in the River Jordan, as we just heard in today's Gospel reading. The sky opened, then the Spirit descended, and a voice from heaven said, You are my beloved Son. This is sometimes called a baptism of revelation or epiphany of the Blessed Trinity in the sky, the Spirit, and the voice. It was as if God had broken down a barrier between heaven and earth as the prophet Isaiah cried out to God, 
tear the sky open and come down. The Spirit hovering over Jesus and the water is almost exactly the same as the Spirit hovering over the waters at the beginning of creation, as we read in the book of Genesis. Jesus is the new Adam, or the new creation, or recreation of the world. And then finally, the voice from heaven, from God the Father, identifies Jesus as his own dear son. Even though most of us won't remember the day when we were baptized, amazing things happened at that time. The original sin of pride and disobedience by our first ancestors, whom we named Adam and Eve, and which stains the soul of everyone who is born, including even the most adorable, innocent-looking baby, is washed away. We are clothed with Christ's righteousness. We are christened. The seed of God's own life is planted in our souls. We become temples of the Holy Spirit, members of the Church, and truly born again of water and the Spirit. This is how St. Paul further describes our baptism. You have been raised to life with Christ, so set your hearts on the things that are in heaven. Keep your minds on things there not on things here on earth. Your real life is Christ, and when He appears, then you will appear with Him and share His glory. When we were baptized, in a very real sense, the sky opened above us, the Spirit of God descended upon us, and a voice said to us, You are my child. Today I have become your father. Just as Jesus' baptism marked the beginning of his public ministry and mission, so our own baptism marks the start of the special mission that God has given to each of us. And the way I can best carry out my mission is to look at my life right now and try my very hardest to live it in a loving, caring, gentle way, just like Jesus. Let us reconnect with and experience the God living in our hearts and also in others, loving, serving and honouring them in all humility. We are all beloved children of God, so let us live always in the light, holy, transparent and respecting our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit and participating as fully as we can in the life of our Church. In a few minutes' time, I will invite you all, wherever you may be listening to this broadcast, to renew your own baptismal promises, freely and enthusiastically. But in closing, allow me to offer you a few points to reflect on personally or as part of a discussion group. And the first point we can maybe reflect on is, am I fully aware of the life-changing things that happened to me when I was baptized. Secondly, how can I live out my baptism dignity and commitment better today and in the future? And lastly, if I am a God-parent, how can I help my God-child to know, love and serve Jesus more and more? In the name of the Father, Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, in place of the creed, I do invite you personally, individually, or as a group, either silently, maybe as a family, aloud, to renew the promises that your parents and godparents made on your behalf when you were baptized, probably as a baby, but you may remember the day of your baptism. And I appeal to you, this is an invitation to recommit yourself to the Lord. And to each of the questions, simply respond with the words, I do. Do you reject Satan? I do. I do. do you, and all his works? I, I do. do. And all his empty promises? I, I do. do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I, I do. do. 
Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I, I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now we continue with our prayers of the faith. Through baptism, we come to celebrate God as our Father. As trusting children, let us turn to Him now with all our needs. We pray for all parents. May they discover the right balance of love and respect, which will enable the children to grow in happiness and truth. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all children. May they learn good, trusting relationships in their homes and feel confident in what they have to share with others in love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all those who struggle with their family relationships and find it difficult to have an image of God as a loving Father. May they be healed and freed. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who are affected by coronavirus through illness, isolation, anxiety, or the death of a loved one. May our Lord bring about an end to this pandemic. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray now in the silence of our hearts, bringing our own intentions and prayers to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Through baptism, we become part of the body of Christ and the community of disciples. We ask for God's help and protection, and that He may satisfy our thirst for new life. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue now with the offer. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Father, 
Almighty and Eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven we might come to believe in your words dwelling among us, and by the Spirit descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters and loved ones who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now let us join together in praying to our Heavenly Father, through Jesus the Son, in the power of the Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord, 
Jesus Christ, the Savior of Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace the Lord be with you and with your loved ones always. And with your with spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us into all our loved ones safely to eternal. Pray our concluding prayer and give the final blessing. I'd like to pray on behalf.
behalf of us all, a prayer composed by Pope Francis for freedom from the COVID pandemic. Loving God, we place into your care all our doctors, nurses, healthcare workers and caregivers. Give them courage of heart and strength of mind and body. Keep them safe from harm. May they know our deep gratitude for all that they do to heal and help those in our families and communities affected by the coronavirus. God of all consolation, may they know your protection and peace. Bless them and their families and keep them safe in these challenging times through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As is ended, go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.